Hi guys, welcome back to another Red Dog Gaming video where today we are bringing you a brand new unit roster for the Ptolemaic Kingdom in RTR Imperium Serectum. Another sneak preview guys, so thanks once again to the mod team uh, for giving me this access. And today we're going to be showing off the stunning units of the Ptolemaic Kingdom. Now their roster is very, very strong. A lot of elite units, a lot of phalangites, and some really, really uh, strong missile options as well. So, without further ado, guys, let us get into the battle. With the note that, again, we aren't showing all of the AOR units, but I am going to show a couple of them, a couple of the scary boys today that the mod team have recommended I show. So, we're going to be seeing a couple of those AOR units, but the Seleucids we're facing are pretty much made up wholly of their AOR units today. So without further ado guys, let us get into the battle map and show you some of these brand new Ptolemaic units. Here we are guys, once again, looking out upon an enemy army from our vantage point up here. And let's start going through some of these glorious, glorious Ptolemaic units. So we'll start with the basics, the basic units that we have seen uh, before. We have the standard version of the Greek Hoplites, like we've seen before, solid mid-tier unit, 36 defense, 13 morale, uh, 13 melee attack. Uh, pretty much your, your early game unit that you're going to use. They will hold the line early game, but don't expect them to do a huge amount of killing unless they're fighting something considerably weaker than themselves, but not weak by any stretch of the imagination. A solid mid-tier unit here. And once again, looking very nice. And we've got the different uh, designs, a lot more yellow and uh, sort of this light red to pink. I don't know. Salmon? Okay, I guess you call it salmon color over here. So a lot of uh, uh, different colors on the Egyptians here. Very different colors. So we'll go on to the Machai Roforoi. Yes, pronunciation once again. The Machai Roforoi are pretty decent. Kind of a... Uh, a different version, a better version of the uh, of the Hoplites in some ways. So they have less defense, but more morale, uh, and less melee attack. But of course, if you remember me saying it a few times, a sword in this game has a better animation than a spear. So a sword, even though it's 11 melee attack, it's probably going to be about equivalent in terms of melee attack. And of course, slightly less defense skill, so slightly less defense against enemies but i think these guys are probably a little bit better than the greek hoplites if i was to guess with that extra morale and of course the sword even though it says their melee attack is slightly less and i just love the design on these guys it says they have seven armor but these are kind of like quilted armored jackets i believe and if you zoom right in you can see the textures on there as well, looking very, very nice indeed. Fantastic. And I just love these swords. They're pretty, uh, pretty badass. <laughs> pretty, pretty scary looking. Um, I don't know the practicality of that, but so why it's curved like that. But there must be a reason. Um, but yeah, looking pretty badass there. And of course, once again, looking at the shields, all the variations on the shields. So the Ptolemaic Thorakitai, the Ptolemaic sort of legion reunit, heavy infantry, 35 defense, which is pretty decent, but a morale of 16, melee attack of 12, again, better than it seems because they're, they're wielding swords, and a missile attack of 15 with two javelins. Pretty good. Pretty solid mid-tier heavy infantry unit. And once again, looking very nice. Most of these guys donned in the chain, uh, rather than the coloured outfit. So looking pretty heavy unit there. Eight armour. Very nice indeed. Very heavy uh, mid-tier infantry unit. Ready to go and smash the enemy. Of course, they're mid-tier. They're not going to stand up to Agamer, etc. But they'll do a pretty decent job against everything else like Theroperoi. All that sort of thing. So, on to the Therapeia infantry. And they are pretty much the same as the Ptolemaic, uh, they're, well, they're exactly the same as, uh, as the Ptolemaic um, Thorakitai. So one of these might either get changes to their stats or might be removed. But again, these guys looking very nice indeed. Very cool helmets, all the different colors, very blue throughout these guys. 
blue colours on the helmets. Blue and gold, looking very cool indeed. Uh, but yes, again, same stats as the Thorakitai. So a legionary-esque sort of unit that'll throw its javis before charging the enemy. And of course, got a good a bit of morale. So they will stay in the fight for a while and do some decent damage with that 12 melee attack. Now on to the Theroperoi, something we've seen a lot in... Uh, all the Greek factions. So one of your early tier units, as we can see, uh, they will throw Javis. So they will throw two Javis with 14 missile attack, which is really good. 13 morale, which is okay. And 12 missile uh, melee attack, which is okay for a spearman. Uh, good against cavalry. Get them in against cavalry. Against infantry, they're going to struggle a little bit with that low morale and low melee attack for a spear, um, as you can see. Uh, but getting them into cavalry will do some decent damage. A cool looking unit once again. Right, on to the phalanx of the Kluruchoi. Kluruchoi, Kluruchoi, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. The Kluruchoi. And these guys, oh, I love the shields. They look fantastic. I just love the, uh, the bronze or the silver shield designs. They look so cool with the glint of the sun on them. Very nice indeed. All the different helms again. Do they have capes? No. So they're not an elite unit. <laughs> and they don't have plumes either. So we know they're not an elite unit. But they are a very good mid-tier phalanx unit. And the one thing through this roster, guys, that you're going to see is that uh, the phalanx units, you have so many options. You can kind of choose whatever you want. Whatever sort of suits you for whoever you're going to be fighting. More replaceable mid-tier guys like these or more elite ones uh, that are less replaceable. Uh, in the back as well. So there's plenty of phalanx options here with the Ptolemaic Kingdom. There's a lot of phalanx uh, variety. So these guys, 36 defense. Good, good level of defense for a phalanx unit. Morale of 15, which is again decent. And a melee attack of 18, which is fantastic. The alt attack of 12, again, don't get them into alt attack. You want to use these guys in phalanx as much as possible. Course. Seven shield and seven armor, so they shouldn't die to javelin straight away, but they're right on that line. Um, that if the second volley of javelins comes in, they're likely going to die to it. So you want to get them in after the first volley, get that, those phalanxes working. And again, look at the intricate details on these guys. They look fantastic. The shield, the armor, the helms, absolutely beautiful unit once again. Right, guys, let us move on to the Pelto Foroi. So, these guys, the Pelto Foroi, I've been reliably informed by the mod team that these guys are an Iphi Kratean unit, or Iphi Kratean unit, something like that, uh, which really uh, resemble an elite pike unit but they're experimental at the minute so they may be changed they may not be but again looking fantastic as we can see a very decent unit they're the same stats as the uh, phalanx of the chlorochoi but again they're going to be messed with they're going to be changed around so again a very good mid-tier uh, phalanx unit pretty elite phalanx unit honestly these guys good really good stats of that 18 melee attack and 36 defense so very nice to see. Very decent uh, unit. And there is some plumage here. Some plumage, so we can say they're coming up to the elite level. Beautiful gold shields once again, and beautiful detail. The detail is just obscene, guys, in this mod. <laughs> like, even to the point where the uh, the effects look textured on the Linothorax and on the, uh, on the shirts. The tassels on their armor, all that sort of stuff. It's just crazy. But Peltaforoi, very nice unit once again. So now, guys, we come on to the Machimoy. The Machimoy units, guys. And a little bit of history directly from the mod team as well. So thank you to them for this. All the Machimoy units are the native Egyptians that are fighting in a Hellenistic style. They're all after the reform. They all come after your reforms. Um, but basically... Uh, before the Battle of Raphia, the uh, Ptolemies had a big shortage of Greeks and Macedonians to fight in their army, which makes sense as colonizers, as invaders. Um, and before the Battle of Raphia, as a full-on sort of last ditch attempt to win the battle, they started enlisting Egyptians um, as their last resort. Uh, but it helped them win the battle, and of course, it contributed slightly to their decline, because there was a major revolt of the Machimoy, just 10 years 
after the Battle of the Raffia, and the Ptolemy's power was greatly reduced by this huge revolt. And by the time that Rome had come, they had to play politics just to kind of stay in the game, stay alive. So these guys, the uh, the native Egyptians, and you can see that represented in the different ethnicities of the Machimoy compared to the Hellenistic faction. So you can see the native Egyptian um, people represented in here with the different ethnicities, which is fantastic. Very cool to see. So let's start with the uh, Epilectoi Machimoy. Very nice unit. Very, very good unit, this guy's. Very good. 40 total defense, 19 melee attack, and 18 morale. Only an alt attack of 10, so do not let these guys get out of Phalanx formation. And I personally love the look of these boys. Love it so much. I love the different colors on the shields mixed with the gold, mixed with the different helms. And you can visibly see that these guys are the native Egyptians compared to the Greeks. So that is fantastic to see. Very nice indeed. Awesome. Do they have capes? No, they don't have capes. So they're not full, full elite, but a very strong, very, very strong um, phalanx unit there. That 40 defense and 19 melee attack with 18 morale. These guys are going to be in the fight for a long time. So a beastly Machimoy unit there. Fantastic to see. Now let's move on to the Machimoy Phalangites. These guys. So these guys, as you can see, a very different, very different form of armor here. Sort of the padded gilet. Something that will go for about a thousand pounds in Gucci, as you can see. Here it is. Yeah, they're modeling it. Very, very nice. Gucci's next big gilet. These guys had it all the way back 2,000 years ago. Um, they're the real trendsetters here, aren't they? The Machimoy Phalangites. But yes, as you can see, visibly see that these guys are less elite than the other Phalangite units. Uh, seem to have basic shields as opposed to the designed, one, designed ones. And more basic armor, the padded gilet, uh, Gucci gilet, compared to the Linothorax, etc. Some of them do have the Linothorax, but most of them have the Gucci gilet. Now... 35 defense is nothing to sniff at. Still really good. 17 melee attack, still really good. I just worry slightly about that 13 morale. With 13 morale, likely to go on morale shocks. So if you have these guys in your army, please don't let them have a morale shock. And that alt attack of 8 is pretty dismal. So do not let them get out of phalanx. But nonetheless, they're probably going to be a very... Uh, uh, very... Um, Easily recruitable unit in your lands. So something you want to pack your armies with. And as phalanx go. Phalanxes, as long as you keep them square onto the enemy. Do a decent job no matter kind of what their stats are. So pretty decent unit. But probably your lowest tier of phalanx that you have. Uh, probably readily available. And that is what's represented over here. But again, come after the reforms. Now let's have a look at the Machimoy Swordsman. The Machimoy Swordsman. A solid, solid uh, mid-tier heavy infantry unit. Uh, looking pretty cool. I like these square shields with the texture on the edge of the leather. Fantastic to see. This guy is just like, what is going on down there? But very cool to see. And again, these guys have plumes, which is quite cool. And I like, uh, I like this design around their helms there, around their heads. God, he has seen some stuff, hasn't he? God, look at those. Look at those. He's got more wrinkles in his forehead than Gordon Ramsay. Good Lord. Well, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted. Uh, 16 morale. Very good. Very good. Uh, total defense of 33. Pretty decent. Nine of which is armor. So, and five shields. So, they're not going to die to arrows and javelins straight away. Pretty decent. 19 defense skill. Not high. Not that high. Pretty, pretty good, I'd say. Melee attack of 13. Not amazing, but again, it's swords. So they're going to do better than a spearman unit that has 13 melee attack. But 16 morale. They'll stay in the fight for a while. And they're a good flanking unit, I'd say, even though their charge is only 12. A good flanking unit that you can use to flank around while your glorious Epilectoi Machimoy hold the line. 
Right, guys, on to some of the couple of the really elite units back here. So we have the Agama of the Chlorochoi, and look at these guys. Plumes, of course. Capes, of course, because these guys are so elite. They are ridiculous. 21 morale. They ain't going to be routing for nobody. 48 defense, guys. 31 defense skill, 9 armor, and 8 shield, so they won't die to javis very quickly. You probably need 2 or 3 volleys of javis for them to start dying. Fantastic. 18 melee attack again. Really strong. No alt attack, so don't get them out of phalanx. But 48 defense is really where they they, uh, they shine, guys. And they look stunning. They really do. They really do look good. They look... And again, purple. I love purple. So, <laughs> it's, it's cool. It's really cool. Look at these shields. Some very cool. Oh, look. The different face. It's like Pinwheel from Dark Souls over here. Um... But yeah, fantastic, fantastic looking unit. And a fantastic unit to throw into the fight. Keep them in phalanx mode and they will be beastly for you. Beastly. Absolutely strong as hell. Very, very elite phalanx unit. So let's go to the uh, Basilicon Agama. 20 morale. These guys are just a spearman unit. And again, looking fantastic. I like this sort of golden bronze Rather than just the standard silver, we, uh, standard face of some of these guys. Looking very cool. And again, we see the mighty plumes and the mighty capes. So, very cool indeed. Oh, these helmets. I've not seen these ones before. Wow. Oh, we have, but from the front. But from the back, they look even better. Wow, look at them. Look at the detail on that, guys. That is crazy. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> That's crazy, the amount of detail. Could have just left it like that, but no. The amount of detail that's gone into that, that is, that is stunning. And again, as I say, these guys look fantastic. On to their stats, guys. I'm sure you don't want to hear me wax lyrical too much about every single unit, but they do genuinely look absolutely beautiful. Uh, but 20 morale, very good. Very good morale, so they're not going to rout for nothing, really. Total defense of 51. Very strong, guys. 15 total armor and shield, so they won't die to Javis very quickly again. 36 defense skill is crazy. These guys are as skilled warriors as you are going to get. Uh, 12 melee attack, of course, slightly worse than 12 because they're spearmen. Uh, alt attack of 11, which is a sword, which is probably stronger than the spears, I would say. But the spearmen are going to do very well against cavalry. If you can use these guys on the flanks to fight off cavalry... They will be doing a strong, strong job. A fantastic job, should I say. Very good. Very nice to see. Uh, very elite Agama unit. Fantastic. Now, on to some of the Missile Boys. The Missile Boys. And we'll go through some of them a little bit quickly. The Greek Slingers, we've seen these guys before. Not great. You're probably the lowest, lowest unit that you have. Three morale, not good. But they will do some damage with those 32 missiles at seven damage. Now, Greek archers, probably readily available everywhere. Lowest tier of archer you can get. But they will do damage. 10 missile attack and 30 ammunition is nothing to sniff at at all. They'll do a decent amount of damage. Now, the Akontistai, these guys with the racing stripes. Make them run faster when they're running away from enemy cavalry. Not fast enough, though. But 12 defense, 6 morale, and 9 missile attack with 7 javis. Fine unit. It's a fine unit. It's it's probably a mid-tier Peltast unit, but not amazing. It's, it's going to die so quickly to missiles that you don't want to get it shot by any missiles whatsoever. Uh, but you can do a fair amount of damage with these guys if you need to. Greek Peltasts. Now, I don't believe... Have we seen these guys so far? Maybe we did in the Seleucid video. Seleucid video. I'm not too sure. Looking very nice. Cool. Different forms of shields. Racing stripes again. And a bit of cool designs on some of these. So you can tell they're slightly better than uh, the old uh, Akontistai. But yeah, 20 total defense. 6 morale. 10 melee attack, which is nothing to sniff at for a Peltast unit, honestly. 9 missile attack of 7 uh, Javis. So, a lot better. They're going to die a lot slower than the Akontistai. 
But yeah, there, there you go. You don't want them in melee still. And once again, the Gucci vests are coming out. Very nice to see. These padded quilted vests, they do look really cool indeed. Uh, but we have the Machimoy archers, so the, uh, the ethnic Egyptian archers. Uh, morale of 5, not great, but total defense of 14 is not awful with the 7 armor coming from the, uh, the padded quilted vest. Uh, missile attack of 10 with 30 ammo, 130 missile range. So, a bit better than those Greek archers. Let's have a look. 14 defense, Greek archers 9. And they just have better morale. In terms of the missile stats, they're the same. So, these guys are just a better option. A better option. And then they will come after the reforms. But... There is one archer that takes takes the biscuit in this one. A fantastic archer unit. A really good archer unit, honestly. Seven morale, so the morale's still a problem, but they are archers. What do you expect? Melee attack of 10, not, not to worry. Don't get these guys in melee. But 23 total defense, 6 armor and 4 shields, so 10 total defense against missiles. So they're not going to die to missiles so quickly like your other archer archers that are available over here. But really, it's taken, the biscuit is taken with a 13 missile attack and 30 ammo, but 160 missile range. So very long range missiles and 13 missile attack is fantastic. That is close to javelin standard. I mean, it's more than javelin standard for the Akontistai and your uh, Greek Peltas. It's, it's close to being legionary javelin standard for 30 missiles, guys. These guys are very strong. And once again, let's have a look at them. And they look beautiful. And I love the just difference, the sort of variation. You've got people with helms. You've got people with the sun hats. You've got people with linothoraxes. You've got people with uh, robes on. Uh, it's quite cool. I, I love the little differences there. Different, uh, different, different uh, feet on. Different feet on. Different boots and, and shoes on. So really cool. Really cool to see. Fantastic. Now, I notice we have been going for quite a while, but this roster is very large, guys, so bear with me. Where Now, we'll come across to the cavalry over here, and this will be, and then we'll do a couple of the AOR units that we've got to show you. So, first things first, let's have a look at the Ptolemaic Cavalry of the Court. Um, very nice unit. This is your uh, General's Bodyguard pre- reforms. Ptolemaic Cavalry of the Court looking cool as hell once again with the yellow on. Uh, with the lovely horses with the leopard skin. Fantastic. And the uh, uh, the blocker of your vision there as well. <laughs> I don't know what you would call that. The feathered plumes on the horses. Very cool indeed. But again, a very good unit. It's got to be. It's a General's Bodyguard. 55 charge. 21 morale. 50 melee attack. 33 defense, 15 of which is armor. So fantastic unit there to see. Very, very cool indeed. So let's move on to maybe sort of a lighter cavalry unit or your second. Okay, no, we'll go into your second bodyguard. And these guys with the bronze armor on looking cool as hell. Very strong unit. Of course, they've got the plumes and they've got the capes. So we know they're elite guys. But they are pretty much, are they the same stats as your other guys? 33 defense, 21 morale. Yeah, they're the same stats, but they just look cool. <laughs> they just look cooler, I'd say. Looking very nice indeed. So a very elite unit. Let's have a look at the Ptolemaic Zistophoroi. So again, we've seen these guys before. Here is the Ptolemaic version with the yellow rather than some of the other colors that we've seen for other nations. Yellow capes, the yellow accents, and a bit of red as well, of course. But looking very cool indeed. But to total defense of 24, morale of 16, which is decent. Melee attack of 13, which is okay. But a charge of 38. These guys are a charge, a smash and run cavalry. Don't get them stuck in, um, in uh, fighting. Or get shot by many missiles, because with that only 9 armor and no shield, they will die to missiles. And if they get into fighting with 24 defense, they're going to die pretty quickly. So charge them in, run them out, and you'll be good. Now, on to the Machai Raforoi cavalry. Kind of looking a little bit like a more sort of... Um, 
irregular cavalry unit, can I say, with this uh, formation. But similar to the Zista 4, a 26 defense. Not a huge amount of defense, but 8 armor and 7 shield, 26 charge, 15 morale, uh, and 12 melee attack. So a lower to mid-tier unit of cavalry as well. Uh, but these guys will probably do better in in fights, I guess, than the Zisto Foroi. Uh, no, probably not with the lower morale and stuff. So probably a lower tier of cavalry there. And then what do we have over here? We have the Prodromoi. So let's have a look at the Prodromoi. Again, we've seen these guys before. Probably your lowest tier of cavalry, as we know. 12 defense, which is really bad for a cavalry unit. 27 charge. Uh, melee attack of 10, but they are basically just here to throw their 7 javis with 9 missile attacks. So if you like missile cavalry, you've got the Prodromoi over here as well. Now, on to your big boys. Your big boys. These guys, the Agama of the cavalry, and look how good they look once again. Uh, he's quite old, this guy. He's been in the Agama a while. Uh, but yeah, these, uh, these guys... Beastly, beastly unit. 33 defense, 15 of which is armor, which is good. 47 charge, guys. 18 morale and 14 melee attack. Very, very strong cavalry unit. Really strong. And uh, we can see they have capes and they have plumes. So we know they're very elite. Elite cavalry unit there, guys. Very strong indeed. Fantastic. Now, I've just got a couple of AOR units to show you guys. Um, and I believe... These Galatian Thorakitai, and they look stunning. They look really stunning. Really, really stunning. The silver with these uh, sort of uh, helms that we saw with the cataphracts from the Seleucids on as well. Very, very cool unit, guys. Looking so cool with the curved swords as well. Oh, God, these guys are fantastic. 15 morale, so an okay amount of morale, pretty decent. 13 melee attack. Uh, very nice indeed. And a total defense of 35 with 18 charge. So a fantastic flanking unit. And you can see the designs on these uh, shields as well. Cool as hell. Very, very, very good unit, I would say. 15 missile attack for two Javis as well. So a decent, so I'd say high mid-tier unit there. Nearly elite. Nearly elite. But very close to elite. But a really good Galatian uh, unit and they look so cool as well. I love the look of these guys almost like the Terminator and then the other one We have the Pisidian javelin men. So a javelin unit that looks Pretty cool guys with the wings or the horns on the side of those helmets. Look at them I don't think we've seen those ones before the horns and the ears Mr. Tumnus Mr. Tumnus helmets uh, they look pretty cool. They look really well. They look really cool. There's even th this one here That's a different design with the horns and the ears on but these guys one of your AOR units again nine morale Which for a for a Java unit is really good 20 total defense uh, Not much of which is against missiles, but mainly defense skill But 11 missile attack so a bit of a stronger sort of peltast unit there for you Which is really cool and I love the different designs of the uh, the robes that they've got on as well. So very nice indeed. We do have a few other uh, AOR units that we can just look at quickly here. We've got the Thracian Infantry looking pretty cool. A very, very strong unit, guys, that has an armor-piercing Javi that fires uh, into the enemy, which is pretty cool indeed. Um, and we have the Karean Karean. Heavy infantry looking cool as well. Looking very nice. I don't think these guys... So these three guys, I don't think... I could be wrong, but I don't think these guys have been updated. Which is why they look kind of different um, to the uh, newer units. If we look at the newer unit, how that's built compared to some of these. But yeah, Korean infantry, which is a strong um, heavy infantry. 40 defense, 13 melee attack and 18 morale. We have the Mercenary Galatians, which is pretty strong as well. 18 melee attack and 40 defense. Very strong, uh, strong boys there with those big swords. And then we have the Judean Spearmen, which are pretty decent Spearmen unit, honestly. 12 melee attack, 14 morale, 33 defense. Right, well, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that. So if you don't want to watch 
the battle. That's absolutely fine. Um, just uh, just skip ahead right to the end, guys, or leave a like and subscribe down below. That would be fantastic. Uh, but for anyone who wants to skip it, that's fine. I'm not too bothered. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found the rest of the videos. Check out all the rest of my videos on these different new rosters for the factions. That would be fantastic. Um, and check out my Sparta and Carthage campaigns, of course, as well. So, guys... Let's uh, let's get into the battle for everyone else that wants to uh, wants to do in the battle. Oh, we've missed a unit, the Libyan phalangites. Ah, okay, we missed the Libyan phalangites, guys. Nineteen melee attack, thirty-six defense, fifteen morale, um, and yeah, a, a pretty decent mid-level uh, phalangite unit. And then you can see Libyan in design as well. Very cool to see. Nice looking unit, and that that's sort of accented with the the duller pinks and purples, which is quite cool. Looking very nice. Well, I can't, can't believe I missed those guys, but we missed them nonetheless. So you guys get you all off phalanx mode and start running. I think I should put all the phalanx units together. So you guys and the Basilicon Agama. Wait, some of you, some one of you is not a Phalanx unit. What? I think you all are. Oh no, it's the Basilicon Agama. Uh, yeah. So we'll get you guys in the middle. We are fighting the Seleucids again. So you two come here. Um, and then we'll get... This will be a big flanking force around this side. Make sure all you guys are on fire at will as well. I want to see this... Look at the range of those Neocretan archers, boys. How much further it is than everyone else. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong indeed. And we've got our cavalry boys coming around as well. So we've got a few of the AOR units for the... Uh, for the Seleucids here, you can see the Mercery Persian Spearman Archers, Pisidian Javelin Men that we've seen today, Arabian Swordsmen looking pretty cool, uh, Galatian Thorakitai, which we just had a look at before, Takabara, oh, there's some damage going in here, right, make sure we get on Phalanx mode, boys, oh, you're a bit slow, aren't you, Libyan Phalangites, so... Charge my phalanx! Charge it! You get in there quick! Go, go, go! They're coming in. Oh, cataphracts are coming now, boys! Who's gonna take that? Right, get the Basilicon Agama in there. They're spearmen. Oh no, they take they put their spear away for the charge. Oh no, they got it back out. Good. They're doing some decent job job against that uh, general's bodyguard. Oh, hello. They've, uh, they're running riot with their cavalry right now. Let's get in there, Theroperoi. You guys get them. You guys come out this way. Should have beat that. We should beat that guy back. How are we looking? Cool. Awesome. Let's get up. Let's go, Basilicon Agama. I wish I had some bloody uh, cavalry right now. <laughs> Let's come round. Where's our, where's our cavalry? Come on, boys. We need you to kill all these, um, these uh, archers and so. You guys get them. You guys come up and kill them. You guys around there. Around this way. Get them. Yeah, here comes the cavalry. Come on, boys. Yeah, we're going to shred these Seleucids right now. We did start with more infantry, and they also kind of started with a, a weaker army than their normal units because it's just the AOR units, and a lot of them are uh, missile troops. Get them. Oh, look at our army. Marauding army. Well done, AI. AI has actually done quite well. Oh, we got these Galatians broken. Nice. The Agamas charging forward. 
When they say charging, just marching. <laughs> Come on, let's get him. Right, let's get some of these boys. Fantastic. And that was pretty... Uh, mopped them up quite quickly, didn't we? What are you? They're still around. Face this way, Libyans. Kill those Galatians. Get there, boys. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait, did he die? Oh, he did, yeah. Fantastic. You get through there. I think everyone else is kind of gone. Very nice to see. Very good. It's just tiny little units everywhere. These are all my boys up here just chasing down the enemy. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go kill those cataphracts if we can. Oh, they broke already. Fools. Fools, I tell you. All right, let's get here. Now oh, get there. What are you? Peltaphoroi. We also got the uh, Epil the Machimoy boys over here. Now, get in, Phalanx. Ah, they've gone. I was going to say, I wanted to sandwich the boys. Ah, well. Ah, well, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video on the Ptolemies. Fantastic. The Ptolemaic Kingdom. Very, very cool unit. Some very elite pikemen in there. Some very elite phalangites. Fantastic to see. Very cool. Very cool roster. And there's a load of AOR units in there as well. Um, so you've got plenty of options if you want to play as the Ptolemaic Kingdom. And the new units just look stunning, don't they? They look fantastic. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. Check out the Sparta campaign, the Carthage campaign, um, and check out my other videos on some of the unit rosters. That would be fantastic. And I'll see you again on the next video.